Representative Ed Rice is the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Today, he called the terrorist attack in Algeria the latest demonstration of a large and growing radical movement across North Africa. Representative Royce also supports the French offensive against the militants in Mali, and he is out front tonight. Chairman, thank you very much for taking the time. Uh, I appreciate it. The Islamist military commander that we spoke to, uh, whom you just heard there, uh, said they demand an end to the war to release the hostages, although you're hearing the latest reporting here at CNN is that this attack had been in the works before the French uh, involvement in Mali, uh, the formal military involvement. The question is, should the United States be negotiating with these al-Qaeda-linked groups? Here's the difficulty, Aaron, and you've done some great reporting on this, but as you know, for the last six years, this particular Al-Qaeda affiliate has been taking Westerners as hostages, many of them French, uh, and as a result, they have been using this for bargaining power and then collecting ransom. Here's the problem. They then use the monetary ransom in order to build their organization. They are also freshly supplied now from some of the weapons that they picked up in, in uh, Libya. So we have a situation, frankly, where I think uh, we've got to hope that the French Foreign Legion forces and other French forces engaged make very quick progress. I say that because once they get ensconced in Mali, um, they could do some real damage over the long haul. That's why you don't want this to become a staging ground for the growth of this organization. Right now, you know, one other thing I heard today, Chairman, was, you know, speculation, you know, British Petroleum, BP, obviously, is, is one of the employers um, at, this, at this joint venture, along with the, don't, the, the company Statoil, um, that they, obviously, these workers carry on them very high ransom or kidnapping insurance, right? These companies have insurance. They have the ability to pay ransom uh, if, if, if they need to. And, and I want to just put this very difficult question to you. Should BP pay it if they think they can get these people out alive, these Americans whose lives are at risk tonight, uh, even if that money is going to go to fund al-Qaeda. Uh, if the other option is some sort of a, a U.S. military special operations uh, raid that may or may not work in which lives could be lost. Here's the conundrum. The payment of those ransom dollars in the past have helped build this organization, this al-Qaeda affiliate. Uh, and now it has chapters uh, in countries all over Europe, which intelligence sources are trying to close down. So the best policy, probably, for the long haul is to eliminate, uh, with a raid, try to eliminate this uh, cell group that's taken the hostages, uh, if we can do it successfully. Uh, and the overall policy has to be to succeed, because you already see just how brutal uh, on the local culture this organization has yes. been. As it's tried to change the culture, it is doing it with amputations, it's doing it with mass murder, uh, and at this point, mm -hmm. uh, the French engagement is to try to wipe out uh, al-Qaeda in the, in, the, in the Maghreb. So to be clear, you would, you would prefer a raid, a uh, special forces raid, as opposed to ransom. I know you said that, but just to make it loud and clear. If, if they, if, if, if our um, quick reaction force feels that that can be done successfully, uh, that would be my preference. Mm -hmm. uh, simply because ransom dollars are only compounding the problem, are only giving resources to this organization so it can plan its next attack. And each attack can be larger than the last. So uh, I think at this point we have to go to the root of the problem. Now, the militants, they say, did this because of French involvement in Mali. Again, to emphasize, our reporting now indicates that this was an organized and planned attack um, and, and was organized before uh, the French sure. actually intervened, but they're now, they're now using that um, as their excuse. Um, the Pentagon has confirmed that the United States will be involved in, in the war in Mali. They have said very clearly, though, that that will not be via troops on the ground. Um, yet, right. I want to be honest with you, I have spoken to officials who are concerned about France's ability and capacity to execute this, to fulfill their mission of eradicating, uh, the, the, the president of France's word, terrorism and terrorists in Mali. How far are you willing to go? If France doesn't get it done, would you put boots in, on the ground? The French Foreign Legion, the battalions that they've deployed, are very, very good. At the same time, the neighboring countries uh, also, like Algeria, have an interest. Nigeria has an interest. They don't want to see this cancer spread. And so uh, the U.S. 
position here is to provide the logistics uh, and also uh, to provide the intelligence uh, in order to help get this job done, but not to provide boots on the ground. That, that's not our role here. This, this is uh, for the countries of North Africa and West Africa, uh, along with uh, working with uh, the French government, mm -hmm. uh, who has already had so many of its own citizens seized and ransomed uh, over the years uh, that with 6,000 citizens remaining in Mali, they've decided to take a stand. We need to back them in that stand that they've taken. All right. Well, thank you very much, Chairman Royce. We appreciate your taking the time.